Hey guys, this is Sandy White from Simply Fit, your number one health and wellness cheerleader. And I have my oldest, Tobias, with me. Don't mind the face. I He's doing me a favor, but he's really an awesome young man. So on today's segment, uh, because I had been seeing him, this dude can bake. Y'all need some? Hit me up. I'll have him do again. But anyway, what I wanted to do was show you something that he's been doing, which is I think is awesome making mug cakes they're not new but instead of going to the store having all those synthetic ingredients or, and stuff that you cannot pronounce basically this is all we're using and you can do it yourself and the other doozy with this you won't eat more than you need to eat so I got my baby, my oldest baby. No, he's not a baby, but still be my baby. He's gonna help me out, and I'm very grateful for that. Anyway, say hello, Tobias. Hi. Slide over a little bit so you're not, um, there you go. Can y'all see him? All right, stop, smile. <laughs> you know, he's got braces, which I think he still looks handsome, but he don't want y'all to see him with all the braces. Anyway, so we're gonna get started with that. And I think I want to basically share, uh, let's say, l let's not overeat and be able to enunciate all of the ingredients that's going into your body so your body can properly process it. So with this, we're using vanilla. We're going to use baking powder. We're going to use, what's this, Tobias? Spice. What's this, Tobias? So, light brown sugar. Yeah, talk up a little louder. Flour. And we don't, uh, most of my family members can't tolerate cow milk. So this is, what is this? So we're doing almond milk and this is pumpkin puree. Now, I know some of y'all are like, ew, I don't like pumpkin. It is really delicious. However, don't like pumpkin puree, use sweet potatoes. Then you just gotta boil your sweet potatoes, bake them however you get them soft and do the same same exact thing that we're doing right now but with sweet potatoes i actually like pumpkin it's fall so we're pumpkin people so let's get started okay so we are going to start with our first ingredients and this is the bowl and when you're done mixing everything it's only going to do half this bowl so you can use any ceramic bowl you can stick it in the oven or the microwave we do the microwave because it's what it was three minutes when you stick it in the microwave yes. so three minutes microwave and you have a good evening snack that won't upset or mess up your journey for being healthy instead of putting icing on here we just use whipped cream has zero to no calories in it perfect for that so our first ingredients Maya's is going to grab I believe I'm, I'm looking on here I'll share this with you all so it's a fourth cup of all-purpose flour yeah you have a fourth cup y'all forgive me we got stuff all over the place um, this one is, yeah, so a fourth cup. Let's take this off right here. So, yeah, this is a fourth. Is this a fourth? Yeah, this is a fourth. Pretty much the hubby and my oldest does all the baking, so I don't touch any of that. So a fourth of the all-purpose flour and then we're going to do two tablespoons of light brown sugar. So this is a tablespoon. Take this off right here. And I would encourage you all to get your family involved in the cooking. Don't do everything all by yourself. If it takes a bit, it takes a bit, but he enjoys doing it. And if I'm all queasy about all, every time he needs to do something, or something breaks or drops and that happens, get over it, clean it up. You got paper towels, that's what they're there for. So our, our first one was a fourth cup of all-purpose flour. 
The second one is two tablespoons of light brown sugar. And then you just level it off like you see him doing. So that's one. And if you don't want to use uh, the regular brown sugar, you can use stevia or keto friendly brown sugar if you like the taste. And then our third ingredient is going to be a teaspoon of baking powder. So this is our baking powder. And guys, if you are not aware, don't take this whole seal off your baking powder. And then when you put your, your, your utensil in there, you take the edge and you level it off. So our third one is, yes, and see how Tobias just did that? So our third one is a teaspoon of baking powder. Teaspoon. Is that a half or a whole? Half. Okay, so you do two of those. So one teaspoon of baking powder. Like it's okay, baby. Just do another one. And then you do a fourth teaspoon of pumpkin spice. So we did these, the flour, the brown sugar, and the baking powder. So now he's got to do a fourth teaspoon of pumpkin spice. There you go. <laughs> he's, no, 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 take the top off. The entire top off. He did this, sometimes he does it by memory and he just, he just whispered and y'all probably heard it. He's like, oh, that's what I forgot. So anyway, it's a fourth teaspoon of pumpkin spice and then a pinch of salt. And so for a pinch of salt, you just put some in your hand, like I just did, which you all probably can't see, and you pinch it. That is it. And you get rid of the rest. So we... Uh, okay, well, that's... Uh, he does his one, two, I do a pinch, literally a pinch. And then your next one, you're going to add in your wet. Now these are all of the dry ingredients. Now we're going with the, he wants to mix it up now. So now we're going to the after Tobias mixes it up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Don't make that big of a mess making. You should use a fork, a fork or a whisk, whatever works for you. And then once he's done, he's going to add in the wet ingredients. I'm gonna let y'all see what this looks like. All right, that's enough because you got to put your wet ingredients in. So once you're done with everything, your, wet, your dry ingredients look like so. So now we're going to add in our wet ingredients and that is going to be a fourth cup of pumpkin, pumpkin puree, fourth cup. And it don't have to be leveled out because I like pumpkin puree and then you're going to do three tablespoons of don't worry about that yeah you don't have to worry about that now you just do three tablespoons of milk and I am going to use a fork instead of this longest whisker and I would just recommend same one that you mix your item, your, your, this is a uh, mug cake. So whichever one, pumpkin mug cake, whichever one you mix your dry ingredients fork wise, use the same utensil. And now we're going to do one tablespoon of vegetable oil. There's no getting around this. And I'm telling you, if you use grapeseed oil or some of the other ones that are keto friendly, it is not going to have the same taste to it. And you're only using a tablespoon. So our last one is going vegetable to... Vegetable oil or canola. 
you know, canola. Yes, he said vegetable oil or canola. Um, the can I would not recommend doing canola. I don't purchase it at all. It is really hard on your body expelling it. So you, I could tolerate the vegetable and you'll know if you can tolerate the oil or not is because how it makes your um, digestive system respond to you. And then the last one is going to be a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. And that is it. We're going to mix everything up. You stick it in the microwave for three minutes. Or if you have an air fryer, you can stick it in there. However, this is a ceramic bowl, but it is not the, uh, what is that? Uh, corningware. So if you're going to stick it in your air fryer, you need, or the oven, you need corny wear or and or items that are designed for he wants to use that whisker but i'm gonna use this one <laughs> y'all see you see his face but make sure you use one whatever item dish you want to put this in that's going to be safe for your air fryer we're going to stick all of this in after i mix it up i'm gonna let him yeah 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 guys i'm getting out of here after he took his time to do it, right, I'm with you, I'm with you. Let him mix it up. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> with his whisker. All right, so once he's done mixing that up really well, I'm gonna stick it in the uh, microwave for three minutes. And I am not going to spike my sugar levels. So we are not making any frosting. We are actually going to use, as I told you, the uh, Cool Whip. And I don't think we got, uh, we got the regular one, right? Yeah, yeah. so, and I don't like the sugar-free. Uh, I think they add more, they take a lot of stuff out to actually put sugar in there to make it tolerable. Might as well just use the regular one. But this is really good late night, which you should be asleep, but we know holidays are coming up and things happen. You don't always go to bed on time. Don't mess or derail your health and wellness journey, just do something so simple as this. All right, guys, so the microwave does make a lot of noise. Tobias is gonna do three minutes and then we're gonna come back so y'all can see what it looks like cooked. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like all mixed up. That's what it looks like. That's what it should. And it smells really good. All right, so Tobias is gonna stick that in the microwave for three minutes and we're going to come right back. So the microwave just stopped and we will show you guys what the final product looks like. Let me have one of these. And like I told, oh, actually I'll take them both. As I just told you guys, the stem out, it's half the bowl. So, the, which is, it, it rose, but not a lot. So you can see what we started with. You pretty much are gonna end with the same amount. So it's not gonna be a lot. You can actually share this. You can cut this in half and share it. I think, my firstborn did an outstanding job. And we usually use the Ready Whip, which you all do know. They make keto friendly one. I've not tried it. I don't know what it tastes like. They also make sugar free. That's going to be up to your discretion. This actually has for two tablespoons. Two of these is 15 calories. There's uh, total fat is one. There is one gram of carbs. There is less than one sugar and there's less than one added sugar. So no sodium. He, I know y'all heard him. He said no sodium. So instead of getting all of the crazy ingredients in here, now you can actually make your own. We've done it before. It's a little, um, 
it's not a lot but it's a lot because you do you can't I would I would recommend that you don't make your your topping with your hand use your mixer so that's when I say a lot you you like you saw how quick this was you got to get your blender out and all this stuff I don't want to do that I'd rather use this two tablespoons 15 calories if you decide to do four 30 calories all right so bone appetite I'm gonna show you what it looks like and then we're gonna dig in now I just did a nice little and it wasn't too much of it there we go a little bit of what and it's hot so it's gonna it's gonna move <laughs> I'm trying to get it so you can see uh, but it, it but you can let it cool off so it won't won't does <laughs> He is silly. So it won't um, move and wiggle all over you. That, that's not the the uh, mug cake. This is the actual Cool Whip. So, so y'all saw what the whipped cream look like. It's wiggle looking because the, the mug cake is still kind of hot. But if you don't want it moving all over and you want to see your whipped cream, you know, while you're still eating it, let it cool off. What, about five minutes? Five minutes. He said for about five minutes. All right, so he gonna dig in and you gonna see if, like like I let my tail taste it, one thumb up, two thumbs up, what, 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 but he cooked it himself, so let's see if he likes it. Go ahead and try it. I'm gonna try it without the whipped cream first. He said he gonna try it without the whipped cream. He said he did it before, but he forgot. What'd you say you forget? The pumpkin spice. The pumpkin spice, and it, it see, he said it still came out good, but um, y'all can see him. He said it's more pumpkin-y. So it, it, I already know that it tastes good. I'm gonna use this big old spoon here. I should have used that fork, but I like the whipped cream, so. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, so good. And I like eating mine while it's still hot. So anyway, y'all try out our recipe. It is delicious. You will enjoy it. So I appreciate my oldest Tobias coming to help me to show you guys how to make a mug cake. And yes, we got the same shirt on. We are Faith City. <laughs> this wasn't by design. We just so happen to have the same shirt on today. Again, this is Sandy White with my son, Tobias White. This is Simply Fit. We broadcast every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you share, subscribe, and like. So you guys can get more simple tips and strategies. Make sure you have your kids come in the kitchen and cook with you. It is so much. They will eat what they cook. Might not necessarily eat what you cook, but they will with you. And with that being said, we'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.